And the craziest thing about it is, these people are not the worst. This is just the appetizer. The main course is coming up because the worst people are the diaper lover community. The people that I briefly, briefly touched on at the very end of episode 3. The people that flagged a video. The people that threatened me with lawsuits, with the police arresting me, with having my channels and social media accounts shut down, and sent me death threats because of 9 seconds of audio at the end of one video. Episode number four already. Can you believe it? Now, this is a continuation from last time. Now, I did say I'd get that part up on Saturday or Sunday. I probably should have specified the year and the month. But it is a Sunday, so I'm technically right, which is the best kind of right you can be. Now, last time we left off talking about doodle diapers and for no good reason and how they were autistic and the reaction they had to the video series, but they weren't the core of the issue. No, they were upset, and they whined about it, and they threw a bit of a temper tantrum about it, but as far as reactions go, the reaction we're going to be covering now is by far much, much, much more autistic. I'm talking about the diaper jihad that was declared on my channel. And what, what exactly set that diaper jihad off? I mean, if you listen to that, that closing part of the last episode, I said nine seconds of video. Nine seconds of video was enough to mobilize an entire community to flip the fuck out. Well, that would be in relation to this. This particular image, which is a screen capture of a DeviantArt user profile, a public profile. I want to be very, very clear about what we're going to be talking about here. This is a publicly viewable profile on a public website. But that was enough. That was enough to start into motion a giant shitstorm, which is fitting. Because this entire episode deals with giant shitstorms and what they're contained in. I'm talking about the adult baby diaper lover community, the ABDL. Now, if you wanted to ensure that your significant other left you immediately upon finding this in your browser history, and were to go on to DeviantArt and search up ABDL, you'd find 19,978 results. That's adult baby diaper lover. And I can personally attest to the fact that these people are very serious about this. They employ the method acting version of fetishism because they are giant fucking babies. That is exactly how they act. Simply scrolling through will give you a basic idea of what we're talking about, what this fetish incorporates. It is grown adults who like to act like babies, but it goes a step further than merely the idea of it. They want to dress up as babies. They want to act as babies. They want to talk as babies. They want to shit their pampers and have daddy wipe their ass. And there is a very large sexual component in it. Now, the ABDL threw a massive tantrum when I released Deviance Episode 3 because of a nine-second clip showing a public profile of Toddler Girl. And that's where our magical journey begins into this particular community. Now, usually I'd focus on DeviantArt, but because of the scope and size of what I'm going to be talking about, we're actually going to venture outside of DA to a few different websites where these actions were coordinated. And what actions might those be? It begins on a subreddit. Because, of course, when you want to talk about adults shitting themselves, what better website is there than Reddit? And so we venture over to the ABDL subreddit with this particular comment from user Marauder12. Oh, fuck no. I'm not letting this asshole take a shot at Toddler Girl. She is amazing, caring, gentle person who does not deserve to be the target of one of these types of videos. I have forwarded this video to her fur affinity and her Twitter. At least she has been warned about it and can prepare for the flood of trolls her account will receive when the video comes out. This was the genesis of what was about to transpire. And so our, our wonderful white knight Marauder 12, after seeing the video posted up on the ABDL subreddit, ran off to warn Toddler Girl because she might be talked about in a future video. So after hearing the warning cry of a autistic man that likes to masturbate to pictures of toddler-aged foxes shitting themselves, Toddler Girl put this DA journal out. Happy, happy, joy, joy. So hello everyone. Nice to see folks are still here. As you may have noticed, I haven't really been here much this year. Life has been crazy, and I haven't been able to multitask as much as possible. That, and I kind of feel uncomfortable that DA has been taking people's art 
and doing what they want with it, and it's legal due to their TNC, so I've been reluctant to really use DA for a while. But I guess I should cut to the chase. A fairly popular YouTuber has decided he's going to do a show on me, pulling a lot of my art and pictures from here without my permission. So already I filed a takedown notice because he didn't ask nicely to use my art or images. But that also means people are probably going to come here and be all harassy angry at me for living my life the way I want to. Now I could remove my page, but that seems a bit unfair to those who have followed me. So I'm just going to try and weather the storm that's potentially coming. It kind of makes me sad that people would put time and effort into bringing others down or being negative, but that seems to be how society is these days. They can't ignore the fact I have a stable job, which I've been doing 12 years now. A loving husband, married 8 years next week, a house, and a car, and savings do plenty of charity work and pretty much have my life in a really happy, amazing place. But God forbid people see me indulging in my inner child. People don't bother getting to know the person in the image, they just immediately jump on the condemn them wagon. But it's okay. My family and most of my friends know who I am and what I'm into, and they love me because they know me. And okay. Strangers yelling abuse at you is hurtful, but I've kind of learned that they don't really matter. So long as I have my friends and husband by my side, people can think what they want. So I guess I'm just going to sit and watch the fallout, and see how many folks are clever enough to work out that just because I'm an ABDL doesn't mean I can't also be a productive member of society. Anyway, have hugs, Kay. Hope life is treating you all kindly. Well, it's a good thing that Toddler Girl wears pampers this big. Because with the amount of shit she spewed, she's going to need somewhere to store it because every single fact that she raised in that journal is patently false. Just simply starting with the notion that the video would have been entirely about her, that is wrong. You can go back and look at any of the deviant videos and you'll see that it never focused solely on one particular individual. It was always about the community the topic was talking about. It may have highlighted users, it may have shown some of their postings, some of their artwork, some of their photos, but it was never solely about them. This was merely her way of trying to garner attention of sympathy whoring on the internet to make herself look like a victim, which is something she does on the regular. Another point she raised in her screed on DeviantArt was that she had filed a copyright notice that she was going to take down the video because I didn't ask nicely enough, because I didn't have the authority to show a picture of a public profile on a public website. I'm not sure if she's familiar with how the DMCA works or what fair use is, but she or some of her retarded friends might want to look into it, because their understanding of it is completely and utterly wrong. And just how wrong is it? Well, let me read a few of the comments, just, just from that journal itself, to give you an idea of how misinformed these individuals are. Toddler Girl. Indeed, freedom of speech is really important, and folk have the right to say what they want, although it's also fair play that if you say something controversial, then expect to have your views challenged. By using my art and photos of me without my permission, it certainly is a copyright infringement, and it was on that basis that I filed a DMCA report. Here's another comment she happened to post on that very same journal. Flagging people's videos who haven't asked permission to use their content or personal photos, I think that's fair enough to do, which is exactly what I've done. I haven't actually listened to the video. I just saw my photo there, and that was enough, lol. So she hasn't even watched the video. She didn't even listen to it. She didn't even know the context in which the information was shown. But she filed a DMCA, so she doesn't even know if fair use applies to it. She's openly admitting to abusing the Digital Millennial Copyright Act to get information pulled down that she doesn't like because she thinks that she has a right to have it pulled down. These people are fucking stupid. It's no wonder they're attracted to the ABDL community. They have the intellect of a fucking toddler. Here's another gem. He displayed my art and photo without my permission. Here in the UK, that's copyright infringement, and it's not fair use if he basically inciting harassment. How would she know if it's inciting harassment if she herself has already said she didn't watch the video? And the stupidity doesn't stop with just her. It extends to her fan base as well, because she does have a fan base, and we'll be talking about them momentarily. But I think what disgusts me the most about Toddler Girl isn't the lying or the filing of false DMCA reports. It's not the attention whoring or the victim complex. It's what I had sent to me on Twitter when this was all going down, when her and her little cabal of diaper shitters were trying to remove me from the internet in its entirety. I received this, at Mr. Medicker. Turns out Toddler Girl is ripping off the UK government. And where exactly does that archive link go to? Well, it goes to a place called Diapered Anime. Because of course, of course this is where it would go to. I wonder what they talk about here. I wonder what the focus of the conversation at Diapered Anime would be. In particular, it leads us to this thread. If you could unpotty train yourself, would you? Well, and lo and behold, who happens to be on this particular website talking in this particular thread? Toddler Girl. 
it was kind of one of the ultimatums when I moved in with my daddy person. Well, he's my husband now. I'm quite lucky because I got free nappies. Because since unpotty training daddy made me go to the doctors about wetting myself, and they made me do loads of tests and stuff and tried to figure out why I kept wetting myself. Obviously, I didn't tell them. It was self-inflicted. And in the end, they gave me free nappies. So yay for the NHS. I want you to take a minute and digest what this disgusting piece of shit just admitted to. This is a person in their DA journal was saying that they had a well-adjusted life, that they were making money at a steady job, and they are going into a doctor and lying about a medical condition to get free benefits because it serves their sick, fucked-up fetish. This person is taking away money from actually ill and disabled people by lying about pissing herself to get free services. She didn't go in and tell them, I do it because it turns me on, because I'm a sick fuck in my head, because I want to pretend and roleplay that I'm a baby, and then urinate on myself and have somebody clean it up. No, she went in there and basically lied to them, and she outright admits it. And that's fucking disgusting, because this is somebody that makes money doing a multitude of other things. They have a Patreon account. There, you can see their DA journal talking about setting up their Patreon. They're making well over $1,100 on it currently as of today. She has a musical career centered around urinating herself. She sings songs about pissing herself. She sells musical CDs about urinating. Let me give you a little sample of the hotness. Maybe you've heard this on your local radio station on the top 100 hits, so you probably can sing along to the lyrics because you know them by heart, because this is a really fucking popular song. When your blood is so full that it hurts, hurts, hurts There's the beauty of wearing skirts, skirts, skirts Makes it easier to let those golden showers flow. Oh, 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 I need a leak. Yeah, that's right. So this is Toddler Girl, a conniving, lying individual who defrauds the government for free money when they're already making enough money to support their fucked up fetish. This is Toddler Girl who lies about why she files DMCA claims without actually watching the video and then just instantly says it's harassment because she wants to look like a victim. It's that victim complex, that mentality that allows her to go in and lie to doctors and get free medical services. It's that victim mentality that allows her to pull down videos she doesn't like without even watching them and claiming it's harassment. How the hell would you know? How the fuck would you know if that video was harassment? And this is the individual claiming in that DeviantArt journal that they're well-adjusted, that their family and friends are aware of how they are and who they are and what they do. So I guess that makes me want to ask one particular question. Does your family and friends, do they know that you lie to the government and steal money from them? I mean, are they aware that you do that? Are they proud of it? Are your parents proud of the fact that you lie to doctors to get free benefits from the government for a sexual fetish? But as I said earlier, it wasn't just toddler girl. It was her retarded fan base as well. The people looking out for her best interest, because this is somebody that needs to be protected. As Marauder put it, she's a caring, lovely woman. And so they jumped at the opportunity to declare diaper jihad upon me and try to purge me from the internet. The only problem is, they are really, really fucking stupid. And really, really bad at doing it. Case in point, they went to a streaming website to discuss how best to hit me. They wanted to take out all my accounts. So what was their genius plan? They posted the link openly for people to actually come and discuss this. Because, you know, that's how you do it on the down low, when you don't want somebody to know you're targeting them. Just take a look at this amazing plan. How about Twitter? Oh, Marauder's working on that. Twitter's our best bet. They put up a journal asking people to report him. No idea about Twitter. I don't use it. Because on Twitter, it's literally him boasting about how much hate he's giving. Taking that out first is the safe bet. He's skirting the line even now, but with jurisdictional issues, it might not even matter. Fortunately, the organizations he's using to communicate can be pressured. I hope he goes to jail. Jail is possible. And I know who it's coming from because I've backtraced it. And I know who's emailing and who's doing it. And you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. If we send reports straight to the service, they won't know until the stuff account is taken down. YouTube takes stuff down really quickly, so just act like nothing's happening. And even still, they won't really be told exactly what part of his content caused it, though he'll already know. Sadly, their master plan didn't work out exactly as they'd hoped. He already knows about your plan, lol. How do you think we found this? Like, seriously. Guys, he's got plants in here. Just log off.
looks like their strategical meeting that was meant to be private on how best to target my accounts completely blew up in their face. Who saw that coming? Who thought a bunch of people that like to jack off to anthropomorphic animals and shit in pampers wouldn't be great at planning or foresight? That came as a complete fucking shock to me. The bulk, however, of their resistance movement to the big, mean Medicare man who laughs at them on the internet was centered, headquartered, at Fur Affinity. That is where that is where they took up arms and they dug in. That was their li that was their Maginot line. The ultimate defense against internet mockery was to go to Fur Affinity and to plan out how best to come after me. Now, Fur Affinity, for its part, has a very special user base. You can clearly see this once you take a little bit of a look around. It's kind of a a parallel to DeviantArt, and maybe another time I'll I'll discuss Fur Affinity and its user base and the things they get into. But I'm focused on the planning, the ops that were taking place on the website by this very dedicated group of people. Miss Victoria, done. I've been reporting so much stuff on his Twitter and YouTube account, my wrist is totally cramped up. Now I know how a guy must feel. Colon, capital P. I also contacted F8 to let them know that he now has a fake account on here and is posting stuff from the original journal that they should watch out for attack because he was encouraging his fans to join in the harassment. I am not on DA, so I don't think I can report it to them, too. Just call the police. You live in the UK where cyberbullying is illegal. Actually, a really good point. Even if the bullies aren't all British, I think you're still under protection of the law, colon three. Yep. If they're in the EU or America, if you report it, they get deported and charged with a fine or jail time. It is taken very seriously. Aside from the police, you can also report them on YouTube for harassment. I check the guideline they use to judge if it's harassment or not, and what he is doing is classed as harassment. I'm already in the middle of doing that. I filed the necessary reports a few hours ago, but if he hasn't posted the video yet, I'm not sure YouTube can do very much. There is still the video that was posted, which you're in. Even for a brief time as it is, you can report against that video too for featuring your work and your picture with hateful comments and intent. So apparently, one of his other Deviants videos on Baby Furs has already been taken down by YouTube. So there's hope yet that enough people can file reports and teach this asshole a lesson when the video mentioned comes out. I reported a chunk of his Twitter account for target harassment too. It's fine and dandy to think people into this kind of stuff are nasty, but it's totally harassment to call them out online. Like they are some sort of public freak show that you dropped a couple of dollars to point and laugh at at the circus. There's having a different opinion, and then there's being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. I think the baby for one got pulled. The baby for one did get pulled. I filed a DMCA report on that one for using my art and photos, but don't know if that's why it was pulled. Reported is Twitter, colon three. This guy is a nutcase. Thank you. Another piece of trash waiting to be taken out. People like this deserve to be shot numerous times. I'm a big gay bear, and I'm gonna shoot people on the internet to make me angry. Of course, their stunning genius gave way to paranoia. They were worried that I was stalking in the shadows, that somehow I'd found their secret hideout, you know, the secret hideout on a public website where they were posting publicly. The dirtbag is at it again. So Mr. Medeker was stalking my profile and posted the response to my last journal. The link is below. What a damn coward. So I had to remove it, and we'll be disabling comments on this one. Mr. Medeker, I find it fascinating that you have nothing better to do than bother me. You must feel so proud of yourself to attack a woman. What? There were no small children for you to kick. It must be that tiny dick of yours getting you all pissy again. Perhaps you're the one who needs a diaper. Love always, Miss Victoria. Of course, completely unknown to Miss Victoria, I have plenty of small children that I can still kick. Well, I guess I'm a target now. So go check out Baby Star's journal here for more information. But quick rundown is a guy who did a video on baby furs where he bashes the fetish in community. At the end of it, he talks about toddler girl slash baby star and announces the next week's video will focus on ABDL and toddler girl in particular, as she also ties into the baby fur video. Well, I am the one who warned baby star about the current video and the planned video for next week. She was able to get the video taken down due to using personal information, but now this raging douche of a person has turned their sights onto me. Please go to the tweet below and report it as targeted harassment. And then please report his Twitter as well. People like him are a scourge who think attack other people and groups for being different is okay. And we need to come together as a community to show them that that type of behavior is not okay. 
this amount of paranoia began to spin the tale of the mean old Mr. Medeker into something even more than what it originally was. They began to think that I was targeting every community that could exist, and that my deeds had grown much, much larger than a single video laughing at baby furs. Well, he won't pick on me, because I made the smart move hiding my autism icon thing off my profile, so he doesn't know I have autism. I think that was the most offensive part. He attacked a disorder that someone cannot help having. What next? A video on how much he hates people with Down syndrome? I... really? Really? Hope God punishes him for being such a freaking hater against autism and Down syndrome. Which two things I have myself. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. Y tú. Y tú. Había subido la marea inconsciente para ella. This is really scaring me. Well, if you see him, block him if he appears on your page, bro. And I made a right move hiding my things about me having autism, so he won't hurt me. I just blocked him on Twitter. Good. I don't want this guy or any evil person hurting me at all. That's why I only stay with Facebook and FA, because other sites, no thank you. I don't want to run into any bullies and have them hashtagging people like us about how dumb we are or how stupid we are for having autism, which I get mad over, because I really dislike bullies like that. I agree with you. I'm so glad I have this website. We people with autism need to be treated with respect. Now, the craziest thing to me is the notion that they think I have some fur affinity account. Like I went out and created a fake account just to read their stupid comments. That is absurd. I would never do that. What would I possibly have to gain from creating a fake account on the site they think is their safest safe space? Absolutely absurd. Now, this tism fit they had lasted a good couple of weeks. They targeted multiple videos of mine. They came after my Twitter account and my Facebook and my YouTube. Any and everywhere that I happened to post on under the handle Mr. Medicker, they tried to take down. And they tried to take it down for the most absurd reason. They wanted me arrested. They wanted me sued. They talked about shooting me because I made a video laughing at the baby fur fandom. They got upset because I showed a nine-second clip of a public profile in a video. And so they took it upon themselves to start some kind of holy war with me. Now, they initially had some success. They got Deviants episode number three pulled down. And they had filed every type of complaint that you can. They hit it for community guidelines. They filed multiple DMCA reports. And YouTube eventually pulled it down. They were overwhelmed by the amount of whining. However, two weeks later, I get an email that says this. That's right, YouTube watched the video, YouTube looked at the video, and it did not violate community standards. So shove that up your honey hole, you big dumb gay bear. Going forward, I expect the exact same thing to happen again. This group is so hypersensitive, so used to being coddled, that they think they can throw a tantrum and get anything pulled down they want. My video didn't violate the DMCA, it was completely fine under fair use. It wasn't targeted harassment, it was talking about a group on the internet that posts on a public website in a public manner. This video, and all the things that have been included in it, all come from public websites and public postings. I didn't dox anyone as they've claimed. There is no personal information involved. I didn't tell you the names of any of the individuals. I didn't tell you where they live, where they work, what their phone number is, what their social security number is. None of that information is in there. All I provided you with were postings made under their usernames on publicly accessible websites. But they think they can throw a big enough tantrum and get the video pulled down because they don't like it. Because that's where we find ourselves in this day and age. People can't take banter. They can't take jokes anymore. Everything is super serious. You saw a good example of that. A video joking about the baby fur fandom turned into me somehow persecuting those with Down syndrome. I don't know how that game of telephone worked, but that's where they ended up. Nine seconds was enough to set into motion everything you've seen cataloged in this video. So try this. Humor me on this particular video. Look at the comments that are going to get posted. And look at the websites where these people post their responses on the DAs and the fur affinities. Because I know I have people that watch me that go to all those websites. There are a lot of people that have a normal fucking sense of humor and can take a joke. But look at their reaction. Look at how they're going to react to this. They're going to act like this is some persecution, that I am hunting them down. At the end of the day, it's a fucking video talking about shit that they said publicly.